Hello, it's Jo from Emily Cat 176 and it's Wednesday, which means that it is poetry because I do poetry on a Wednesday. So for all my new subscribers that I've got, as I said, I do appreciate everyone that's joined. Uh, so as I said, I am trying to to um, get people reading poetry again because as I said in this crazy world it's so nice to just sit quietly and read a poem. So today's poem is the second part of Father and Child. Last week I read out Barn Owl by Gwen Harwood. This is the second part called Nightfall. So Nightfall Gwen Harwood. Forty years lived or dreamed. What memories packed them home? Now the season that seemed incredible is come. Father and child we stand in time's long promised land. Since there's no more to taste, ripeness is plainly all. Father, we pick our last fruits of temporal. Eighty years old, you take this late walk for my sake who can be what are we link your dry hand in mine my stick thin comforter far distant suburbs shine with great simplicities birds cry crown in flowering trees sunset exalts its known symbols of transience your passionate face is grown to ancient innocence. Let us walk for this hour as if death had no power. Or were we no more than sleep? Things truly named can never vanish from earth. You keep a child's delight forever in birds, flowers, shivery grass. I name them as we pass. Be your tears wet, you speak, as if air touched a string near breaking point. Your check brushes on mine. Old king, your marvellous journey's done, your night and day are one. As you find with your white stick the path on which you turn home with the child once quick to mischief, grown to learn what sorrows, in the end, no words, no tears can mend. So that was nightfall. Beautiful. As I said, it is the second part of Father and Child. For those that are new, Barn Owl is a poem about a young child who sneaks out in early morning to go into the barn and they shoot a barn owl and it is the father that comes and gives her comfort. Nightfall is now the roles are reversed as we all know our parents age and once when they were strong and they were, as yet, the adults, especially when you're, you're an adult yourself and you've got old, older parents, you can become the carer. You see them grow weak. And in this poem, it is. He's grown weak, 80 years old. I just think it's beautiful. And this poem, as I said, it's the cycle of life, isn't it? I think the whole thing is the cycle of life. And it's interesting, the, the language she uses, she quotes a line from King Lear. And of course, with King Lear, he had three daughters, didn't he? And the way um, Cordelia, the way he treats Cordelia, and she's the only really one that loves him. The other two are no good if you remember your Shakespeare. So 
I, I do. I really like it. As I said, it's interesting because, as I said, in the first palm, there's all these symbols of youth. It's the start of day. It's the break of day. And, as I said, in nightfall, it's, you know, there's words that are, well, it's to do with, yeah, old king, your marvellous journey's done. Your night and day are one. I mean, I just think it's, I just think it's a, a, a beautiful poem, part one and part two. Uh, for people who are new, as I said, and you don't know, Gwen Harwood was an Australian poet. I am doing uh, poetry. Well, I, I run into some copyright issues with some, but I am trying to find out all different poems, different poems for seasons, for whatever. And this one, I wanted an Australian poet. And Gwen Harwood, she died in 1995, but she is one of our best known poets. And our premier poetry prize is called the Gwen Harwood Poetry Prize. So, yeah, she's and she's one that is, is um, studied at universities. And she's, if you look her up, Gwen Harwood, she has, she did a lot of work. She did a lot of work and there's quite a lot of poems there. But I just really liked, uh, I, I liked this one. As I said, the fact that it was in two parts, it's gentle. It's a gentle poem, but as I said, it is the cycle of life. We that are children become carers for our parents. And it's also, sorry, I just heard a noise. <laughs> and it's also the thing is too, like I have lost both my parents. They've gone now and I still miss them. And this is part of it as well. Your parents age and then they're gone and Things are left unsaid. You wish you could go back and do things differently. All that sort of thing. But I just I just thought this was a beautiful, beautiful poem. You know, as in Barnow, it says, Daybreak the house slept. And then in nightfall, 40 years lived or dreamed. What memories pack them home? So with the first one, there's innocence. It begins with innocence and then she gets knowledge from what she's done. And the second one, as I said, on the surface, it's a father and child going for a walk. But in all that, it's about, as I said, ageing and and the cycle of life, which will happen to all of us. So yes, I hope you liked that one. I already have next week's picked out as well. But that was, and as I said, she is our one of our best known poets. The prize is named after her. She studied at universities. Do you know last week, early last week, I'd never even heard of her. And this is what I'm liking about these poetry things as well, because I'm, I'm learning about all these wonderful poets. I did a house-sitting job in Seaford uh, a few months ago, and I'm going back there over the weekend. And at Seaford Station, there are ducks. One of my poems I read out was called Ducks by F.W. Harvey. Beautiful. And this is what I'm finding with poetry. A lot of the poetry I think is just beautiful. And poetry in particular, 
the world is crazy now. It's crazy. So take a little time. Find a quiet spot and read a poem. Wonderful. Anyway, that is it for Wednesday. I will be back on Friday. Something about books. I've got a few on the go at the moment, so we'll see which one I, I finish. So enjoy the rest of your week and I will see you on Friday. Bye.